Well, my name is Connie Reimers-Hild. I'm the unit leader and extension educator at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension Kimmel Education and Research Center here in Nebraska City, Nebraska. And we're at the annual Applejack Festival. And today we have Greg Peterson here. He just performed three of his hit viral videos that have just gone bonkers on, on the web and with his brothers, the Peterson brothers, as many of you may know. And one of the things we want to talk to you a little bit about, Greg, is just you know, how do you make those videos go viral what can you share with those of us in education to give us some tips and pointers on getting that information out there one of the biggest things for us when we're making our videos is we try to be really honest and really real with with what we're filming and, and the lyrics we're writing we don't you know we just try to tell our stories up front and, and just as personal as possible and, and we just hope that people will identify with that but we also like to help it out a little bit with um, some things that the audience can relate to you know like humor and um, you know some cute animals thrown in there and, and some you know witty lyrics that make people laugh and the more entertaining that it can be the more the more people can can kind of focus in on the, the actual message that we're trying to get to them and and so for us it's it's mainly you know trying to be entertaining and funny but also educational and um, you know trying to get a message across okay so in education we aren't always entertaining and funny I, I will say I think we could use a little improvement on that what do you do to to help get those videos out to other people. Is it you, do you have a big marketing plan around this or is it something that's pretty organic? Well, it started very organically. It was, it was like, you know, there's only our few select friends and our parents who knew that we were even filming the first one. But um, then once we'd, we'd, we'd gone viral and we'd set up a Facebook page, I think we had like 20,000 20, fans for our next video. Um, and then, I mean, we'd also, the more we go around and travel, you know, the bigger kind of, um, you know, you could call it a computer, you could call it following, you know, whatever. The bigger that gets, the, the faster our videos go out. So, you know, Farming and I Grow It took maybe four or five days to hit a million. I think Farmer Style hit a million the first 24 hours. Like, it was just like, you know, really quick. And, and that comes from, from a following. And now our Facebook page is up to 65,000. And it's growing by about 150 people every day, which is, the, you know, the biggest growth we've experienced on our Facebook page this whole time and so um, the biggest thing is yeah keep keep the conversation going we try to post all the time on our Facebook page and and um, definitely keep people engaged and uh, it's it's amazing how people want to hear what we have to say and, and we appreciate that well that's awesome that you've developed this following and they're really reaching a lot of different audiences it sounds like not just in the United States but around the world which is is really cool and obviously having fun is a part of this I know you've also talked about the importance of creativity and and that's something I like to teach is creativity and, and talk about so you as a person what do you do to kind of strengthen your creative juices um, well, to be honest with you, it's, it's kind of funny because most, most of the time, actually all the time, every single one of our parodies has been written, like I've written the lyrics after midnight. And so I don't know what kind of advice that is, but I'm most creative when it's after midnight, when I can't sleep or something. And so as a college student, it was much easier to write these than now it is, you know, working full time on the farm. Because I don't, I can't really stay up past midnight as easy now, but, um, but creativity is, you know, it's something that that is, I don't know, I, I've always had a creative mind. I mean, my mind is always, is always thinking of something. It's, it's, it's a very active, active mind. So I think that's, that's important is, um, you know, I would encourage people who want to be creative, you know, don't just sit around at home watching TV or, you know, not using your brain, you know, you want to, to keep your brain, um, kind of work it out, I guess, to, to where it's, I don't know, I have no idea how to, how to, you know, give someone advice on creativity it just kind of happens I don't know hey, that's great I think you did a great job with that it's, it sounds like you know when you're most creative and, yeah. and things you do so the other thing I, I, I teach around is leadership and obviously you you are a very strong leader in agriculture and in other ways but also teamwork so working with a family and your brothers in, in particular how do you build that sense of teamwork and, and continue to, to grow that well, uh, it's not always uh, the easiest to work with my brothers, I could tell you that. Even, even just, we were working on our fourth parody, and, and I really had to, 
had to, to push them, you know, this fourth parity. I mean, they just, I mean, working a team is hard because you, you have one person who's more, maybe more motivated than another person due to different, you know, whatever. My brothers are great, you know, they they definitely enjoy doing it. They, I think they they enjoy being difficult with me because they think <laughs> they think it's funny to see my reactions probably, but um, it's it's been it's been great to have my brothers as part of my brothers and I as like a team to deal with all this. I mean, if I had to experience this whole thing all by myself, um, you know, that would definitely be way harder. And so it's 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 great to be able to kind of fall back on each other and 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 talk through stuff with one another. And our parents are part of that team as well as our sister. And and uh, our parents definitely do a great job of keeping us grounded uh, with with every all the craziness. And um, but teamwork is is definitely important um, with with you know, to being a leader and, and being able to lead other people, um, you know, I think that's really important. And, and that's what my brothers and I, um, you know, we're, we feel like we're, you know, we're looked up to, um, to a lot of, you know, younger people. I, I speak to a lot of high schoolers and, and, and younger people like that. And so we definitely understand that. And, and um, part of being a leader is setting a good example. And so, so just in the way we, we live our lives and we handle all this, I think is important to, to our leadership role. Thank you very much, Greg. Really appreciate your time and all those insights on a lot of different things from education to creativity and leadership. So thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day here.